welcome back to part six of developing a turn-based strategy game AI for my upcoming game, uh, Shattered Throne. I'm joined once again by my son Bennett. Hello. Well, first of all, I noticed that you've actually that it's a new map and that also it's symmetrical. Exactly. This was a problem that we had mm -hmm. the last time. Yep. There's, and again, they're not using the bridge, except there's also two things I noticed. There's not much houses, except there actually is one of, I mean, two of the towers where you can make new units. So, but I can see that they're really only going for the up, because again, they're not really seeing the bridges, because they think the mountains are blocking it. Yeah, that's exactly why I put that structure down there, because I am certainly still having a problem with them seeing across the river like that. Oh, so. so then this will help. So then it'll help you sort of fix the AI? That's the hope. Um, well, right there you see the main difference between this AI and last week's. Is that they're using spells. They're using the, the leader spells now. And blue is the new one, and uh, red is Eva from last week. Oh. I, yeah, I was just going to ask about Eva, because Eva's really good. Yeah. Well, in this case, Frank, our new AI, actually ends up beating Eva quite easily on this map, even though um, Frank has... First. Exactly. Yeah so, yeah, so in the previous map and also all the other ones, Red always has an adva advantage unless they're all surrounded by mountains. Mm -hmm. That's the only time that it's not an advantage. But then for Blue, but if it is like that, that, that then it would be like easier for, I mean, but it'd still be hard for the blue when it gets there because of the mountains and stuff. Right. In this case, uh, Frank is playing the High Priestess as the as their leader, whose main power spell is a heal that heals all the units. There's a lesser spell also, but I have it kind of toned down so it doesn't usually do the lesser spell. In fact, it never ends up doing it in this one. Yeah, I've also noticed about this map is that Seats. Well, by the way, that there's not much houses and not too much terrain near the houses and stuff, it sort of gives you the little feeling that the map is just empty, sort of. Well, the, I didn't want to have too much sources of income. Yeah. Basically, the villages generate income while the castles yeah. let you build units. Mm -hmm. there's, I've also noticed that they're, well, that they're not using too much units. And they're not and they're and they're not having that bunching up problem. That is actually that is a slight difference I made to Frank is I kind of toned down the stickiness of especially the spearmen units. So then um, the spearmen are actually offensive and not just. Yes, it's making I think enough of a difference. Yeah, except I have a feeling. Well, for well, it seems that each new AI you make seems to be better than the previous ones. That is the the goal here is to have a slow progression oh, forward. So then, oh, so you're making these to, for the and difficulty. That's the end, and um, I guess we'll check you out next week. Um, thank you for joining us. For more information, check out the code and more information at www.checkmarkgames.com. Bye.